What is good, YouTube? This is Super Yoshi World 64 coming at you with episode 4 of Let's Play Crash Team Racer. Now I'm gonna hop straight into it, go straight into this level. Tiger Temple, we're in Warp Area 2. So we're gonna get jump right into it and get started with the first race of this area. I'm gonna try and get all four of the trophies before the boss fight in this one video. I hope I can do it, I really do. In this level, Tiger Temple, there is actually a shortcut in it that I'm going to be showing off to you. It's actually a shortcut that if I hadn't done the CTR challenge for this level, I would have never known about. And there goes my cell phone going off. Two videos in a row. Awesome. Yeah, these little bumps, if you jump at perfect times off them, you can get quick little hang time boosts, which are pretty useful. Alright, awesome. Now, you see this little monkey face thing right here? Hit it with any type of item that can hit it, and it opens up a quick little shortcut. Computers will never take the shortcut. So make sure you take advantage of it. While well, in first place, it's actually pretty difficult to get that shortcut. So, you may not see the. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I did tell you that you could throw vials forward, so. Take advantage of that to use vials to open up the shortcut. The best thing to use is the whoop of the masks, the vials, and the rolling bombs to open up that shortcut. Anything else probably won't work. For example, missiles do work, but frequently they won't go in the direction you want since missiles are heat seeking and they'll seek out whoever's in front of you. So unless you're in first, they probably will not work. coming around in the last lap and I'm completely destroying my opponents and I get a rolling bomb awesome like I said use those bumps to your advantage hitting R1 at the perfect time off those bumps will give you a nice bit of hang time for your boost actually I I probably haven't gotten any of my mini turn turbo, but I've gotten like several dozen hang time boosts in this one race. Alright, and I crossed the finish line. Nice and easy. So yeah, I actually am pretty determined to get all four races done in this one video. The first two are pretty short, the second two are a little longer, but they're not too bad. Alright, that's three minutes down, and... Uka Uka, shut up. You get a turbo boost. Yeah, turbo boost, yeah, that's nice. Uh, I already told them about that, but thank you anyway, Uka Uka. So now we're gonna hit up this race, let's go into Coco's Park. In case you haven't noticed, Every character in this game has has a course specifically for them. Doesn't necessarily mean they're good at that course, no, but it's their course. For example, in the third warp area, you're going to be seeing Tiny's area, Tiny's course, which actually I kind of hate that course. It's really annoying, but I digress. Coco's part. This is a nice little pink girly area. Would you expect from Coco being the only female character in this game? Which I think is really funny because me and my two older sisters used to always play this game. And my older sis and both of my older sisters play as Coco because she's the only girl character. So they, since they both want to play as Coco, they argue they would argue over it when the three of us would try to play together. Which I always thought that was pretty funny. I'd always just sit there with some Crash Bandicoot and they'd argue over who got Coco. Hey, I... I really, I really don't care for this level. It's, it's an okay level, but it's not that good. I've seen, I've seen many much better looking levels in this game. By the way, missiles can be blocked by multiple items. I don't know if I've said that already. You can block missiles with crates, vials, 
rolling and rolling bomb. I'm not sure if anything else blocks them, but I know for a fact that those three block them. I'm pretty sure no other items can block them. Are you serious? No, I'm not about to lose. This is where Tiny's above average top speed comes in handy. No. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, no. Seriously? This is really, this is really just screwed me up. I have to redo this race now. Yeah, if you redo a race, you'll actually start out in the place that you lost in. So since I was in second, I'll start this race from second place. But yeah, that actually kind of makes me a little mad. I was hoping I wouldn't get any anything lower than first this entire LP. But that's already been screwed up. Playing games with people. Okay, got a nice rolling bomb here. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not talking that much this time through because I actually, what the, I actually am pretty mad that I lost this race because this isn't even a hard one. We haven't even gotten to the courses where the game starts getting hard. By the way, that actually was what I was talking about earlier when I said computers will pass you at the very last second. And that actually can be a little frustrating sometimes. It's, even, it's not as bad as when a boss does it to you because I've had bosses do that to me and I had to repeat the boss fight a couple times. And now I'm done. Great. Uh, half my time is gone because I had to repeat that race. So I probably will only have enough time for one more track before the end of the video. That's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. What I'll do is I'll just put the last track in the very beginning of the next video. I probably could have done it too. Shut up. To get around a tight turn. I don't care. I really don't care what you have to say to me. And ooh, this will, this is Papu Papu's pyramid. Papu Papu's pyramid. Wow. No, it's just Papu's pyramid. This actually isn't. It's not too hard of a course. It has several shortcuts in it that you can take advantage of. Pretty good course. And this is also the boss course, so I'm going to try and show you all three shortcuts that I know of in this course. One shortcut actually jumped me from 8th to 1st place right before the end of a course. And I missed that one through. This course does it has have a lot of really tight it's not one of the hardest courses, but that doesn't mean it's an easy course either. Do I have what I need? Nope. Alright, this is a shortcut right here, that little gap in arrows. I kinda wish I could show that off, but I don't have the right item to. Are you kidding me? If you run over the dirt patches where those plants are, you will get eaten. That will slow you down a lot. Awesome. Speed tank. I'm gonna have to hold on to this for a little bit so I can show you one of the three shortcuts. Hopefully if I can't show them off here, I'll be able to at least show them off during the boss race next video. Let's see this turn. It's 
not too hard to make these turns, just you need to know how to work them for your character. Now right here, this is what a shortcut is. Get your boost item, jump, and right over. You actually do jump over a good bit of the track, so it's actually pretty useful to use that. Oh wow, almost got eaten. That was too close for comfort. I get I need one big oh come on, really? Are you kidding me? No. There we go. First place, nice and easy. Luckily, I will not have to repeat that course like a Dekoko part. But unfortunately, with my time, it's probably best not to risk trying to do one more level. So we'll save the last area for this of this warp room for the next video. Okay, yes, finally. Okay, Uka stop with the stupid hints that I don't care about. So, next time, we're going to be taking on the last level, which is Dango Canyon. After that, we're going to take on the boss fight, the boss level, and then we're going to start going after the CTR tokens. This is Super Yoshi Bros. 64, and I am out.